why exercising isn't the fastest way to help you lose weight so we got a video here from vox the channel is called vox their video will be in the description box so you can check it out for yourself today i'm in a video the science is in exercise isn't the best way to lose weight and honestly we're trying to lose weight really really fast exercise actually isn't the best way to try and lose weight as fast as possible so we're going to go over this video and we'll leave you guys some tips that you can actually apply and again you can check the video out in the description box let's go we have this idea that if we want to lose weight, we join a gym on January 1st, we start working out regularly, and eventually we slim down. Well, here's some bad news. I read more than 60 studies on this, and it turns out exercise is actually pretty useless when it comes to weight loss. Dr. Kevin Hall at the National Institutes of Health has... So starting this off, I want to say that exercise isn't completely useless. There's just better ways in terms of, well, there's one better way when it comes to losing body fat very quickly, and it's going to be your diet. I'm pretty certain they're going to speak about it, but I wouldn't say exercise is completely useless because it has so many benefits to it in terms of like your cardiovascular health and just overall health. But there's so many things we'll speak about, but let's see what you have to say. Done some of the most important studies on exercise and weight loss. Like we need to rebrand exercise. Exercise isn't a weight loss tool per se. It's excellent for health. It's probably the best single thing that you can do other than stopping smoking to improve your health. Um, but don't look at it as a weight loss tool. Exercise will definitely help you live a longer, happier life. It's just not the best way to lose weight. And bearing in mind, weightlifting doesn't burn as many calories as you may think. Because a lot of time you're resting, guys. I don't think a lot, of people, a lot of people focus so much on working out, but don't realize a lot of time you're actually resting. And if you are training like really intensely and aren't having enough rest, you most likely aren't training as effectively because- We can undo the calories that we burn off in exercise pretty quickly. It would take about an hour of running to burn off a Big Mac and fries. You'd have to spend about an hour dancing pretty vigorously to burn off three glasses of wine you might drink with dinner. Hopefully you guys have really listened to that point. So the amount of effort that's required to burn off some of these like processed foods that you're going to pick up or fast foods, it's a lot of work. And imagine how easy it is to eat like a burger and fries from McDonald's. Like you could probably eat a couple of burgers, fries and some chicken nuggets as well. Since the 1920s, companies like Coca-Cola have been aligning themselves with the exercise message. The idea here is that you can drink all these extra bottles of soda as long as you work out. You know, this is really interesting because I haven't actually watched this video and seen what it said about the messaging in terms of marketing, how they will try and promote maybe exercising more, when in reality, it's actually easy to start eating less. But because of like the commercials and the amount of money that they're making from promoting some of these foods, them to then tell you eat less of their food, they're not already going to do that. They're going to try and give you these deals. You go in Tesco, you see buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half price because they want to try and save spending more money, right? There's a massive tip I want to give you guys that's so important. A lot of people don't realize they're doing it. So when you're trying to create the calorie deficit, if you're burning additional calories, you don't want to be eating those calories back just because you're uh, rewarding yourself. But if you eat the calories back, you destroy the calorie deficit. So be really aware of that. It's not impossible to lose weight through exercise. It's just a lot harder. And we need to recognize how that works. If you do go to the gym, you burn all these calories, takes you a long time to do so and you put in a great amount of effort you can erase all of that in five minutes of eating damn that, that that was a good way to finish the video so that's really sick guys because a lot of people don't realize it they're like why am i not losing weight i'm exercising yeah it doesn't really matter if you're exercising if you're eating this trash you're not going to lose weight there's so many people that do this crap as well they're like oh my god i'm doing everything right no you're not if you're doing everything right you'd be losing weight. So if you're not losing your weight, it is always your diet. One thing I want to leave you guys with is just because exercise isn't necessarily the fastest way to allow you to lose weight, it doesn't mean you should neglect it because there's so many benefits to exercise in, especially as we age. I think a lot of people in this day and age are looking at transforming from a social media point of view. But the reality is you need to be thinking long term. You need to be thinking when I'm older, I want to be able to like go for a walk. I want to be able to pick things up without my knees hurting. I hope this video has been really useful. Click the link in the description box to check the video out for yourself. And inside the link in the description, I've left a free nutrition blueprint that you can check out for yourself and hopefully give you a kickstart. Catch you guys in the next video.